and in two, also in 2006. And in 2006, Ubuntu was already a two-year-old baby. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Ubuntu's father, uh, uh, Mark Shuttleworth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I bumped into him on, on the hallway, and he told to me, Thank, thanks a lot, Till, for all the stuff which you have done to make printing working, and do you want to work with us? And so I got the second offer. So I had I had two job offers. And to solve this, one thing is it helped me to get the, the salary a bit higher because I could put them against each other. <laughs> and yes, I think I some twenty percent more I, I, I got also by that. And then it ended up that I have uh, taken full time the Linux Foundation. Uh, oh no, no, it was the uh, the Free Standards Group, mm -hmm. and taking a third time contract at Canonical. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had four thirds of a job, and and so my work was open was to run open printing to manage open printing and to package the printing related software for ubuntu as debian packages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this started then mid 2006 okay and with the time with the with the time uh, following uh, so at a certain time, the Linux Foundation was not paying me full, full in full anymore. They were mm -hmm. canceling half, and then I got uh, uh, raised to two thirds of a job for at Canonical. And later on in 2012, I was full time at Canonical and not at the Linux Foundation anymore. Mm -hmm. And one thing is. Linux Foundation and Free Standards Group. The Linux Foundation was founded in 2000, mid 2007, mm -hmm. join, joining uh, the Free Standards Group and the Open Source Development Laboratory. Yes. And, mm -hmm. uh, yes. And, and therefore, by that, I was at the Linux Foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So you started yes, at the Free Standards in, Group in, and then in like merged in. Uh, in. Yes, yes, yes. For simplicity, linked LinkedIn, I have only written Linux Foundation, mm -hmm. and yes, and so I was at the Linux Foundation and continuing. And this was yes, and this then was the real start of Open Printing, mm -hmm. and and all the time I was doing more or less the same work. I was taking care that with Linux and free software, you can print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not only for the distro where I was employed. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this was go and, and uh, Canonical was going on until this year in, May, in, in June, mm -hmm. mid June. So what I, what happened there? I don't know how much you can say, how much you want to say there, but what what happened with Canonical? Yeah, Canonical in or in the beginning it was rather to be in a family when in that times where where Mark was grabbing the, his uh, uh, employees on conferences, mm -hmm. and Canonical was growing all the time. It got more and more corporate. There were also thoughts to do an IPO, but it never, never turned to reality. And, and Canonical has now, I think, 1,200 employees. So Canonical got also more and more corporate. They started with peer-to-peer -peer evaluations and, and also I think in in general English, one says it's Scrum or so that mm. you that you slice the time into two week blocks, so called sprints, and 
and uh, then uh, there are stand up meetings every day and in the morning and, and in the beginning of, of, of a sprint one has to plan it and in the end there's uh, a, a meeting about what 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 one one has done and what one did not succeed and so on right right it has all the corporate formalism mm -hmm. and also, there were, were uh, schemes for, for for career schemes so that you could apply for a higher level. And if you passed, you were promoted into the higher level. Mm -hmm. And yes, yes. I, I even once when, when they started with this with a, with a, a career scheme, I once applied and, 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 and got promoted and then what what happened is that for all that most people mm -hmm. in in most corporations like also canonical they're working in some team mm -hmm. and they are deeply integrated with the team working together on something and in canonical i was also in a team in the desktop team but my work was all the time mainly open printing and mm. open printing was something which was happening outside canonical it was an, an independent upstream project mm. and i have a, and it was not it was not a one man business i have a team i have uh, people working together with me mm -hmm. But they are not working at Canonical, right? And and I have also the Google Summer of Code students, so uh, so uh, temporary team members and so on. And so I've done with them a lot of work, organized that work, managed all this. And Canonical has an internal. Once I had to somehow document it also in in for the sprints which was uh, which was not that easy and so that canonical knows what i am do i'm doing and also at canonical there were peer-to-peer -peer evaluations which means that the performance of uh, of an employee is evaluated by the colleagues mm. and this is done with some web application with some special voting scheme and usually when you are in a team the team has already something like 20 people and then you have also a, a, a interaction with people from some other teams and so there come together a good amount of people who are voting on your performance and so you get uh, more or less a representative result about your performance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but but with me it did not work because i got too few votes and there was no quorum they counted the too few votes and so the value was had a huge error bar so the thing which when you study physics, you learn in the first laboratory about measurements and uh, error and statistic. Mm -hmm. The thing where a beginner a student would, would fail the test. And then, uh, then uh, uh, based on this measurement, mm -hmm. then they have had hard hard uh, thresholds under which people do not get a bo their, their annual bonus and raise uh -huh. and probably another hard threshold under which people are laid off right yes yes so basically you were a canonical employee for a long time but you're effectively Oper it's a weird position because you're effectively operating like a contractor. You're doing yes, outside yes. work, but you're a full-time employee at Canonical. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's... The, the fact that I... that Yeah, like that's just a bad situation to be in, right? 
I'm sure from your perspective, suddenly finding out that that was happening, just, it didn't make any sense to you. Yes, yes. Yes, a company, if they want to support open source projects mm -hmm. and pay a person for that full time, they have to do, for example, something like a open, or open source leadership program or something like that mm -hmm. and uh, treat them differently, not putting them into the scheme of, MA, of, of uh, usual employees where the work is defined by the company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, after that happened, where does open printing exist now? Like, how is how, how are you making money? Yes, yes. The, the in the next month, they have the canonical has given me an indemnity, mm -hmm. so I had some time to survive. And in that time, I have tried to we establish uh, my, uh, my my getting paid for my work at open printing mm -hmm. and because what i because i was in 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 an emergency situation i have started at first to do my made calls in terms of of linked filling in my profile in linkedin making a lot of contacts also on mass posting on mastodon and i got near 1200 boosts i have never seen so many boosts on one mastodon uh, uh, post and and then i naturally need needed and i uh, need mid air refueling mm -hmm. So that I do not need to pull the ejection seat, meaning taking and taking an arbitrary different job, and let let open printing crash. Mm -hmm. And then the, the what I have started then is I've already started before, but be, but but I've I've gotten it uh, gotten it we we started because it, it did not get completed to make open printing a full sub organization of the linux foundation mm -hmm. so that we have an open printing foundation which can uh, receive sponsorships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and memberships can receive money can handle money and therefore I, we have to make uh, a technical charter i have also lined up a technical steering committee for open printing and and to 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 form this uh, organization so that we can uh, get sponsored mm -hmm. and with the linkedin I have discovered a person from uh, the Sovereign Tech Agency. I have uh, invited the person to make a connection with me and told this person about my situation. And then this person asked me to write up what I'm working for open printing, how many hours on what, and how much would this be in money? So the money which uh, which um, an IT consultant gets for that work, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I made a long list, a big plan, coming up with enough hours for whole for a whole year full time, and somewhat more in money, somewhat more than my last salary of uh, of canonical, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. This person also uh, invited me for a video chat, and then we chatted about that. And then this was my uh, this was my application for the Sovo and Tech Fund. And one or two weeks later, I got an email that I'm accepted, and I get uh, the appropriate amount of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. I'm now covered until the from beginning of October 2025 to the end of 2026. Mm -hmm. And 
I have to uh, I have to uh, write invoices and lists of what I have worked. Mm -hmm. And but after the fact, I do not have to tell every month what I will do in that. Right, what, it's, what it's I plan to do in less that annoying month. than handling sprints. It's so, like I'm now for the several tech fund. I'm like an IT consultant. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the sovereign tech fund has hired an IT consultant mm -hmm. based mm -hmm. on the quote which I've created in the beginning of, uh, for the application. And, and uh, so I, I have to send invoices and they pay the invoices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this also means that I'm not an employee, I'm self-employed. So I'm working at open printing as the lead of open printing. And how does that feel as a change? What? How, do, how does that feel as a, as a change? Is that like a, a nice change for you? Now that you're actually like... Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, because the, the, the pressure of the corporate scheme of, of, of canonical has fallen away. <laughs> and and uh, this way, I... Uh, and so, so I'm. It is so. It is much easier uh, for me to to plan and to do the things and not having to 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 worry about uh, uh, where, uh, where, whether I, I I get good uh, evaluation votes and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It it would be bad if you have to do twice a year a voting campaign and not like a president only every four years. Mm -hmm. <laughs>